Hello, welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over some of Sprite's default settings. When you first ever load up Sprite, the UI settings are not ideal. Let me explain why. As you can see here, I currently have my main image and my preview image. Now currently, my image is scaled to what it says is 100% down here in the bottom right corner. So this should accurately show my final image, correct? Wrong. When you first start up a sprite with the default settings, the screen is scaled by 200%, meaning everything you see is twice the size as the output file. You may be thinking, well just zoom the preview window to 50% to show an accurate output. Well because of the way scaling pixels work, this is not an option. As you can see, when I zoom to 50%, the image becomes very low quality, very blurry. So let me show you how to easily fix this. Under the edit menu, on the top, scroll down and find preferences right at the bottom. In preferences, under the general tab, you want to look for screen scaling. You want to change screen scaling to 100% and you want to change the UI element scaling to 200%. If you don't change the UI element scaling, everything will look very small on the UI. We apply this and go back to our image. Now, my main image is currently scaled to 100%. As the screen is now scaled to 100% instead of 200%, this is showing an accurate image of what the output file would look like. The preview window is still at 50%. We change this to 100%, and as you can see, it's perfectly accurate, and there is no blurring, and it is an high quality. Just to prove to you that it started at 200%, I'm now going to zoom in from 100%, as you can see in the bottom right corner, to 200%. And this is the image we had before. As you can see, we are now at 200% zoom level. And before we change the screen scaling, this is what it looked like at 100%, which, as we now know, is wrong. So that is how you fix screen scaling in the default settings. The next option I will go over is the delete selection option. More specifically, the remove selection after delete. Confusing, I know. Let me show you the problem first. Let's assume I have several areas selected. And I want to remove these areas from my image. There we go, those selected areas have been erased and there is nothing selected any longer. This might not seem like much of an issue, and honestly, for a single image, it's not. However, if you wanted to repeat this over several frames of animation, it's a huge issue. Let's next assume I have an animation and in that animation I have a few objects I want to remove from the background. When I delete those objects, my selection is gone. So when I move to the next frame, I have to select them all again. This can be tedious and time consuming. Luckily, we have another option. Bring up the preferences menu again. And under the selection tab, which is a little further down, you want to keep selection after edit delete command. Hit apply and now when you delete your selection you will keep the areas that you have selected. Which means you can go through each frame really quickly and delete all of them. Now every frame has been fixed. To remove your selection simply hit ctrl D. That is all for this video. I will be creating more Sprite videos covering the whole program with some great tips. So if you have not already hit subscribe to be notified about future uploads. Also, be sure to check out my other work on pixel art itself. I have some great tutorials linked below this video and plan on making many more. Meanwhile, please take some time to enjoy this little music loop that I attempted while the credits to all my Patreon supporters roll. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.